Hey there guys and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. I am Red Steel Alive and today we're going to be making ammunition. And to do that we're going to need the space we're looking at. Um Yeah. So I've been busy a bit off screen and I'll show you around in a second, but uh, what we're going to do is build ammunition in the space here currently occupied by all of these constructors. At least this row, uh, nearly all of the row until the last four I think it is, are going to be taken out uh, and replaced with nothing. We're going to place a, at least a temporary manufacturer in there and get some ammunition going so we can go exploring and use the uh, automating, automated rifle, this one. Because we currently still don't have any ammo. So if we're going to take out all of this, how are we going to end up manufacturing <coughs> uh, reinforced plates here and the... Right, and the modular frames over there once the plates run out. We actually should look into that, because that seems to be going awfully slow. <laughs> they just created so we could probably double or triple that. And it looks like we need to, because <coughs> the two we just created immediately left on an empty belt. Uh, so we currently don't have any spare modular frames, so we definitely need to look into that as well. Um, yeah, so yeah, what are we going to replace all of those with? Well this belt, this one belt up here uh, is powered by nine constructors on the upper floor of this building that one there it's got the first row of nine constructors in there all hooked up and ready to go and replace all of this and we currently have that container there as an overflow uh, for this cluster of belts And yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to hook, uh, take it, yeah. Put a one, put one splitter in there, hook that into there, and we'll just not use the exit. I think just fill it up and have it, and then eventually we'll move that into a more logical place. I don't know, there is. Once we take out the manufacturer's temporary setup and move them to more permanent setups. That actually sounds like a plan. So, let me bleep a bit and we'll be back as soon as all of that is taken out and we can hook that up. Yeah, so, funny story. Um. I died. Uh, that's our box over there. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna have to make a small detour and go and get that. Started on the deletion though, which is why I fell probably because deleted this one accidentally. Oh well. Back later. Alrighty then, so now we've cleared out all of that and had ourselves a little trip down all the way to the bottom of below this floor. Uh, ready to hook everything up. So, we've replaced all of the cluster of splitters and mergers here with just a single splitter here. And just this last bit gets sheets flowing through from that factory floor up there into a really slow belt probably a really slow yep and then that is unchanged uh, for now as you can see it's all flowing in already and should soon overflow it already is <coughs> as it's stuttering up here and then all of that will start producing again to keep filling that up and we should 
expand that a little bit. And another little thing I did was I removed all of the uh, constructors over here, which were in you know in the same rows here, uh, which were creating rods to feed these constructors, these six constructors. They were eight. I removed them. I removed two. Uh, so they were producing screws from rods at 40 a minute each. And I'm going to leave that run for a while. As you can see, the, uh, the lines are still filled. Before hooking up that to that, which would provide them with ingots instead of rods. And the reason to do that is to use the alternate recipe there to create the screws straight out of ingots instead of first converting them into rods. It's also a little bit more efficient as they create 50 a minute instead of 40. Hence the deletion of the two um, two constructors because we go from 320 a minute to 300 and judging by the speed of those belts that should be fine. I have no idea what the requirement is on the other side though. So now I think we can look at creating ourselves a small manufacturing setup. That one. We actually have everything but plastic. To uh, create ourselves so we can place it maybe here. Line it up with the other one. Yeah. We'll do that. Let's go create. If I get some plastic, we don't need to create it. Cool, because we should just have an overflow of plastic here. Uh, yeah, we definitely will have an overflow of plastic because this thing's not working. Okay. Actually, let's grab 300 so we can also do the jetpack thingy. Do we actually have 200 rubber? We do. sure this keeps working. To create our circuit boards we do have lots so that's alright. <laughs> so I wonder what we need. I haven't actually looked at the recipe in a while so I've forgotten. Let's open Let's see, it might actually... Oh yeah, it's going to take beacons, pipes and rubber. <coughs> I wonder why cartridges take rubber, that's pretty annoying. Mm, let's see, the only thing that's far away is the black powder. But that is an easy fix, so let's hook up everything. What can we do first? Uh, let's hook up beacons. And uh, we are producing them over here someplace. Right here, uh, to be exact. So, let's see if we get that one to come out a little bit. And let's see. Then we're on the same level as the second conveyor. So we're up one more. So we're up three. Should be that. Not the neatest, but it'll do. Alright, that's one. Uh, steel pipes, they are also over. Hang on, does this not take steel pipes? Hello? No. How about the other one? Yes, it does. So. There. Could we siphon off a couple?
possibly. It's not the neatest way of doing things by a long shot. But it works. Uh, can we place this on here? No. We can do this, right? <laughs> mm. Dirty. And then... So, now we're at the same that, that level. Now we're at that level. So we've got one more. Very dirty. And this one... I actually don't know how high this has to be. Let's just guess at about that high. Hmm. Yeah. That deserves a brew or two. Alright. <laughs> That's two. Next, black powder. Yeah, we'll skip that one. Uh, rubber. Get the black powder last. The rubber is easy. I found myself walking along here more often. The past few hours, so this is probably long overdue. And all of this down here is still all temporary, right? Because it's just producing stuff that we need. Um, so... Would this be... Nah, nah, let's not do that. want to go all the way that way. It doesn't have to be too neat, so let's go up there. go through or over this? Not really. Too much bell work. So let's go here. Nice. straight. Alright. Alright, so that's got rubber in it, doesn't it? Yeah. And now we just need black powder from way over yonder. So we get to see this area again as well for the first time in ages. So I've also cleaned out this, right? I've also locked that in. That's going up to the uh, in that Iron factory. Reach that. Yoink. And I'm not sure if I showed you ever. I expanded a little bit of the Caterium just to make sure that it's running at 100% for all of these. Or at least that they're running 100% of the time. Uh, added in a smelter, two more of these constructors, and upgraded the uh, 
miner all the way back there. And this is our little black powder facility that we created earlier. And this is our Nobelisk warehouse bomb making factory deal. Not quite sure why it's not doing anything. What's not coming in? It's not full. So we got pipes. No black powder. Really? Oh. We've got sulfur, we don't have coal. Right, because there were power issues at some point. I don't think you guys got to see that. Because I was doing some work on the copper factory. And the power went out. And it turned out that having the black powder production on... Yeah, it is that. As well as... Uh, try and power all of the coal factories was a bit too much. And we started getting blackouts. But since then, we've also added in a lot of fuel generators. Actually, all of them have been added in thus far, so that's an extra 750 power. It should be fine now. It should be fine. We're just uh, we're just gonna guess that it is. All right. So because we are going to just guess that it is fine, we're gonna siphon off. Hang on, that's the wrong way. Is that a merger? This isn't it. Yep, oh, that's a bit. That is a bit annoying. And uh, take that out. Make that a splitter. There we go. And then we can just go here. I'll just trace along. Here ish. Let's see. We need to go there. So this is going to be a bit of a tricky route. Can't really join in with that. I think it might also be the last manufacturer we make on that side. I mean, this is getting a bit too tight. lines mm. that should be possible uh, we could go on lower There's already production on the belt. That is really fast. Alright. So now we're all the way over here. Just a little bit to go. this in one go. Yes, we can. 
That's good. That seems too far. It is. Well, that's possible. <laughs> it's definitely not the neatest of solutions, this, is it? Um, that will do. Let's see, it's over there. out of steel. Hmm. Which is this one? Yes. Alright. That one goes there and then we have it. Then we just need a big a big box. that the power holds. It should, because we have capacity. Green light. So there we go. We should see the first ammunition momentarily. I hope. Yeah, it's at three minutes, maximum 20 seconds. Which should be... Oh, they're tiny. Look at that. Oh yeah. find ourselves a harmless target. No bullet drop. This is great. Hmm, the other one disappeared. Oh, hang on. Out of ammo. Alright. Much fun. That works. So there rests us only one little thing. I should show you guys. So I've been working uh, a fair amount on this factory in between last episode and this episode. And a lot of that has been fixing up these walkways, as you might notice. There are a lot more going all the way back and forth, and lining up better now. I've refactored this factory to be one smaller, so there's one line along the side there, one foundation. And that required rewiring all of this beltwork here. And you can also see this beltwork coming out of it. Uh, sorry, into it now from over here, which includes, um, which is it, that one. That one is the uh, miner behind the wall there. And now we have the output line there for this factory, which splits off into two. One feeds this area, so it goes into that lift over there, and, the and into a container and then goes all the way back there and it now directly feeds uh, the assemblers there creating the sorry creating the uh, rotors and there's no more constructor set up over there to create uh, to create the iron rods that we had earlier with the um, ingots coming through there so now the ingots which are coming through there are only used for screws and yeah, but now we also have this 
factory. We have copper ingot creation on the first floor, so that one. And no idea what this one was producing. I think it was yeah, sheets, copper sheets. And then we have copper wire coming out of here. Actually, we have two lines of copper wire being produced as well. Even then, I think it was taxing the system because they create 45 each. And the, the constructors, I mean, they create 45 copper wire each per minute. And the belt can only handle 270. And here we have cable production, I think. Yeah. Cables coming out. Coming out on that side. And we should. No, we don't have something on this floor yet, do we? No. Here, we've got all of this. Oh yes, and I've put in glass floors on the first line of every factory. So you have a view going up and down as well. That's cool. And yeah. Oh yeah, and then we've got the stinky bit over there. Which we still actually need to go into because I think there was a slug somewhere in there. find it right now. Definitely one over there. But yeah, I heard something on someone else's stream and I hope that it's... Oh, look at that, we're up this height already. Cool. It's something on someone else's stream and I hope it's true that uh, the slugs because the um, the enemies respawn, right? That the slugs also respawn because they're considered to be creatures, which would be really cool and handy. Uh, we can't walk out there, which would mean that there should be now a slug, I think, on that hill there. And if that's true, that would be really handy. We we'll just farm all these slugs in the neighborhood and do it again the next day. be though. can't recall where it would be. And I also don't think it's true, but it doesn't hurt to look. Yeah, let's not fall down there again. Yoink. No, I don't see uh, any slug on this. I think it was here, next to this tree that the slug was. There's nothing. So yeah, next thing to do now that we have ammunition is to go on a wee trip. Slug hunting and uh, those container hunting things. Especially for the uh, hard drives. Because we need alternate recipes. Because this is very inefficient, especially the ammunition, I mean, that we just created, right? I mean, look at what it takes to make ammo. I would expect steel for the shells and black powder. But no. All of that. Uh, what's this making, actually? Alright, oh, screws for this. Which is heavy modular frames. And look at that. They take 10 modular frames a minute. And are waiting on that at 25% production efficiency, so we're getting half a frame a minute. That's not enough. Uh, so we might do a quick and small and dirty refactor of this area, right? Because what have we got here? Because these are created using reinforced plates and Iron rods, is that it, really? Uh, yeah, two a minute. Then the efficiency of the other thing didn't actually pan out, because two a minute here would be 20% of their requirement. 
Um, so we're going to need... We need these ourselves, right? We need modular frames for ourselves to be able to uh, just grab and do stuff with. Which is also why I'm carrying a couple around. So... We're going to need at least six. Let's see, can we fit that in here? Oh, we can do it over there. We actually have everything we need to create six, so that is fine. And as we're bringing stuff in from there and from there, it's easiest to position them this way, I think. Let's go over this way a bit further, get a bit of space. Let's see, one. Two, three, four, five. Crap. create seven while we're at it. Might as well. Alright, I'll uh, set this up and be back in a jiffy. Alrighty, so been busy doing a lot and I've increased the capacity of production of screws there uh, a little bit and the reason you don't see any is because I haven't hooked it up yet. I thought I'd wait. Um, I've also expanded the production of reinforced steel plates by two because when I was building all of that I figured why not take it to nine you know it gives it a bit more oomph so to speak um, but that would require more reinforced plates than we were producing so I had to increase that capacity just a little bit but they only take three reinforced plates per minute each so three times nine is 27 we had five producing reinforced plates uh, they produce five a minute that came to 25 uh, sorry 27 required over 25 so now there's 35 over the 27 required so now we have an overcapacity and that increased the demand for more screws um, so yeah increased the capacity there to be 450 a minute and I just spotted a wee problem because that is one of the screw lines that actually needs to come in and I think I had that planned for under here so get that in there that's the merger over that way get that in there get that in there and this thing still yeah Get that one. Like so. Oh no, wrong way around. I think that's it, right? Nope. There we go. Not too neat, but it'll work. <laughs> that is weird. How is that possible? <laughs> Didn't think we could do shapes like that. That is steep. Oh well, that's fine. So yeah, um, now the only things that rest us to do to get it all operational is so now we've got that's producing iron plates still. All of these, nine of them are producing uh, screws if this is hooked up so that should now all be functioning and they take five ingots each so that's 45 ingots a minute going through here but that line should have the capacity because it's coming in at 270 odd it is being used elsewhere but the other production lines like that aren't that big 
They take that one takes like 150. Um, so it's 200, and the other one, way over there, takes like 60. So that's no problem. I um, should be taking greens. Yeah. Excellent. It's all green. All right. So that should start up. And we can see it there. Yeah. Should start the flow, and obviously this is going to have like 150 minute per belt each, apart from the bottom belt, which is going to come in at. 100. Oh, missed it. There we go. And that's all coming in, and that's going to come in through here. Create ourselves some, create us some steel plates. And I've ensured that this belt here, which is supplying the rods from the factory all the way over there, has been upgraded to T3. And hooking that up should get us a whole lot of green lights along here. Because this one's still uh, got plates in it from the overflow of that bucket over there. And with this running, we should now be seeing 18 modular frames per minute. Which is 8 more than we need for the heavy modular frame production of one, <laughs> one manufacturer, that is. <laughs> that it's, it's important to point that out. <laughs> and... Yeah. Oh yeah, and I had to move the rubber belt multiple times. I also put the um, rubber and uh, plastic in the uh, in the objective in the hub. Haven't completed it yet because it still needs. I don't think it needs like heavy modular frames and and motors. Haven't completed it. I uh, wanted to do that with you guys, uh, but I did think of something because if we want to go exploring and grab ourselves a whole lot of slugs and hard drives um, we're gonna need fuel and I thought you know you might have fuel in the same way possible that you had earlier but obviously fuel is now a fluid so I've selected the current mines milestone to be what we have there and put down the first refinery which we need because we are going to need to package fuel, I think. So look at that. That's that's great. That's just so much faster now. It's <laughs> more there. Yeah, that's that's going well. Um, where is our ramp? There. Yeah. So we need to package fuel now because the. Um, vehicles they take obviously they take fuel to run and the fuel can be anything from um, biomass to um, it's normal fuel to liquid biofuel and batteries so batteries apparently are the most efficient means of doing this but we can't build batteries it's not in the game yet so we'll have to make do this and some modular frames. Actually, for that other milestone. Ah, so if we select this milestone and we dump in the last modular frames there. Hang on. Computers. Right. We didn't have computers, that's why I didn't finish that one off. Uh, let's grab that one. Select the milestone. Go. Milestone reached. Right. Fluids can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belts. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. Ah. Yeah. The most efficient form of biomass. Right. And then we can also package it. But yeah, we need to... We we needed these, the empty canisters. So what did they, they cost? I'm thinking plastic, which would suck, but yeah. Uh, we don't need to be here, we need to be here. Um, it's gonna be all the way down the bottom, I think, canister. Whoa. Okay. Um. Uh,
So we can make... Oh, hang on. This is... This is unpacking. Package liquid biofuel. If you unpack that, you get two liquid biofuel and two canisters. Right, okay. Why is that so slow? What is that? Heavy, re heavy oil residue. That is three times slower. Wow. This is fast. Okay. So pretty much what we need to do is we need to use plastic to create empty canisters. But we get to reuse the canisters though. So if we take out... Okay. Let's go. Right, right, right. So... Quick thinking. It doesn't matter if the fuel is created incredibly slow. Because the only thing... The only reason we need packaged fuel is to have... Thingy majigs. Like pack it. The only reason we need to pack fuel is so we have fuel for the car. So what we need to do is we need to siphon off plastic, which is already being produced at such a staggering rate. Ugh. Sarcasm. It's just me. Not kidding. I love sarcasm. So, right, plastic. That's right there. That thing is going to need plastic. As you can see, I've prepared this one. I've shoved the fuel line into it. But obviously, it's going to need plastic as well. Because this thing, uh, it needs to create packaged fuel. Packaged fuel. So that takes fuel and canisters. Yoink. It takes a fair amount per minute, actually. But it's not going to get that. Um, no is in the way. That is major league in the way. Why, why, where's that going? How about you are there and you disappear. Which means that one can disappear. Which means now I just killed the power to all of them. Aha. Uh -huh. Wire too long. Aha. Uh -huh. That explains it. And they're back up. Good. So, pretty much what we're gonna need. This is this temporary setup is becoming more and more permanent, but let's do it anyway. Um, what we're going to need is let's stick it all the way here. Stick it one back. Yoink! I think that would line up. Can this line up? Can we fit that in? It is going to line up. Look at that. It's straight. Straight as an arrow. Right. Let's stick that over here. Yoink. Right. So that is going to siphon off plastic. And I'm assuming it's actually in here. I think it is. Yes, it is. Because it only needed plastic. That is going to create us empty canisters. Now. Obviously, we're going to need a bit of power. And... I don't know. Let's stick another power pole there. Yoink. That now has power. And... Q... Organization. We're also going to need a bit of storage. Because... It might create an overflow. By might... I mean, it actually will create an overflow at some point. Whoa, that's quick. All right, so now that is going to create us packaged fuel, and that is, you know, it's it's nice. It's, we don't really need a lot of it, so there we go. Packaged fuel. 
our first package of fuel. That's fantastic. All right. So eventually that will create us an overflow of package packages which we can use in other situations where we need to package our liquids like water or any other fuel type because we can unpackage it. I'm not sure if we get the packages back if we use it in a car though. Can we make a car? Oh. Can we just make a car right now? That would be crystal oscillators and those beacons. Hmm. I don't think we are making crystal oscillators yet. Alright. Well. Whoop-de-do. We can now manually make a couple and then we can have a car. And then we also have fuel and we now also have weapons. We now also have a revamped production facility. For modular frames. Right here, creating 18 modular frames a minute. We have additional capacity for a reinforced steel, which is great. We have more screw production for that reinforced steel, which you know is marginally great. It, it, it's it's needed. I hope it's not needed if we get an alternate recipe. And yeah, there only rests me one thing to do, and that is actually no, I did do this, didn't I? I showed you this fa facility. I did. Yeah, because we had we we have we got the smelting there. We've got uh, uh, copper sheets on this level. We have got copper wire on that level, and we have got cable on that level. Yeah, I showed you guys earlier this episode. Yeah, and we should also have a whole lot of tickets. Hmm. All right, let's end this episode well. Let's let's get some stuff. No idea what we can get with 18 coupons. I wasn't actually hoping for anything. Oh, we should actually have a look before we go and spend our coupons. Um, at the hub, there should be more coupons. Now, if we're gonna spend, we're gonna spend big. This, uh, you, you gotta do it proper. We oh no, nope, that would have resulted in my death. Uh yeah. Oh, only three. Oh, at least we got twenty. We should still find ourselves a, like a proper, more proper way to handle uh, the grinder, because we've got a grinder there, we've got a grinder there. I think we had a grinder all the way down that end as well. We should find a way to properly handle that so we can increase this production a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be nothing. Right, let's see. What what shall we get? What shall we get? Like last tickets that we have right now. Inverted ramp pack. That might actually be cool. Pipe, quarter pipes, all kinds of pipes. That makes fourteen. The factory car though. <laughs> that should be fun. But then we need the ramps to get all over the place. These things, they just cost a lot of a lot of tickets. And equipment, anything we need, no. Right. Funny to see how this gets expanded every time. I still don't want any of this though. Mm, maybe those, because they're going to be a pain. Right, so foundations. Let's get that and that. That gives us... Oh no, we have 21 tickets. This is costing us 14, so we have 7 left. Could start getting these, start using them as well. Or just the walls. Do we actually have those walls? Or is it just doors? Yeah, let's get these use up every single ticket. Alright, let's check the walls, right? Yeah, we've got these. 
Yeah, we don't actually have... Oh, we do. We have that all. Okay. And foundations. Yes. Right, this is going to enable us to make everything a little bit more fancy. Like with the uh, platform for the for the hub, could now have inverted ramps surrounding it. Ooh. Ooh. That's not needed. That's not needed because we have our glass platform, and we're gonna have walkways around it. Yeah, so that's not needed. It does open up possibilities though. We could maybe do it for say the outer rings. Hmm. Interesting. I would give it a bit more of a, a bit more oomph, a bit more finesse. Do we have like a, a corner one as well? Like an inverted one. Like this, but then the other way around. Yeah, because I was thinking if we have that, if we have it uh, on the on the on this outer edge, and I'm walking over this way instead of the other way, because this way should show it properly. So if we could take that off, right, and we put our, s hang on, let's take that one out as well, just to make the idea clear. Inverted ramp. Oh no, that one's too big. We need the one meter one. That one. Yes. Now this tape is off there, but here we have that big ass corner. So we'd want an inverted. Yeah, like this, but. You know, it starts off like that. Can we maybe put like two through each other? Yeah, apart from that, this one needs to be the smaller one. Uh, inverted corner ramp times. I'm gonna guess it's this one. Then it's encroaching each other's clearance. Alright. Let's leave that for now. And we'll see what we can do with that later. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. Do like, do subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. If you want to see more, um, new episodes are forthcoming. You know, I'm continuously making episodes nowadays. Um, I'm streaming as well every now and then so do make sure to follow me on Twitch as well and every now and then there will be a stream currently I'm streaming Subnautica but you know anything is possible and anything will happen I'll be streaming probably this uh, Sluggo and um, uh, Hard Drive Hunt as well because you know it should be fun there should be a lot of deaths involved probably uh, and a lot of exploring as well, because we've barely seen anything of the map. I mean, look at our little corner here. That's what we've seen, and we know there's something there, and something there. <laughs> and, yeah. Alright. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope to have you watching the next one. And, bye bye